Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assess customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device. Now, here with us today, we happen to have an LG G-Pad X2 that is originally from T-Mobile here in the U.S., and this device does indeed have the Google account lock enabled. As we can see here, as we're going through the setup process, we get to the screen that says that we have to verify our account and tells us that the device was reset and to continue, we have to sign in with a Google account that was previously on the device. So that's basically what the Google account lock consists of if you're not already familiar with it. It's something that Google initiated back in Android 5 to where when a device is factory reset without first uh, removing the, the Google account that's on it, it's then going to be locked to that account after the reset, and you have to sign in with that same Google account again in order to be able to use the device. So we've had tons of customers contact us from all over the world asking for assistance with that on this specific model, and so we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove that lock on the device itself without having to have that previous Google account login information. It's a procedure that we're actually going to do to the device right here, right now, while it's plugged in via the cable to our computer programs, so that you guys can actually verify and see for yourselves that the lock is indeed removed after the device boots up and we're all done with it. So after, the, after I showed the lock that was on the screen, all I did was shut the device off, and now I've got it into the firmware flashing mode plugged into our computer here, because that's how we remove the lock. We just go in and delete it right off of the internal partition where it's stored in the memory. So there are no uh, tricks or bypass little um, steps that we do in the setup wizard like some of the other videos show, nothing like that. We just go in directly and delete the lock right off of where it's stored. The problem with some of those videos showing you how to do it is that LG has teams of employees whose sole job it is to find videos like that and then they make a note of exactly how it's done and then they fix that exact uh, trick in the very next software update. So that's why most of those videos will be full of comments of people saying, oh, this didn't work for me, or, you know, I don't have this option on my specific device, and that's because their device has a software version that's later than what was shown in the video, and LG already fixed that trick because whoever made the video showed them exactly how to do it. So that's part of the reason that we don't show exactly how to perform the removal in our videos, because LG can't fix what they don't know about. We do have the lock removed here. Our program has finished running, so we're just waiting for it to boot up here and go through the sequence. There's the T-Mobile logo. And so then once that finishes up, we should be able to see that we can get straight to the home screen and have full access to everything just as if it was a brand new device. That process might take another minute or two. So if it does, yeah, it's gonna go through this upgrading process here. And I think that takes maybe two minutes to finish and run through. So you can skip ahead to the end of the video if you want to jump straight to seeing the final results. I'm just going to leave it as it is, though, to show the entire process. While it's doing that, I should mention that this is a procedure that we can do for just about anyone anywhere in the world. You don't necessarily have to be located here in our area in order for us to do this for you. So that's why we advertise on sites that are visible anywhere in the world. You just have to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection, and we can actually remotely go into your computer and perform the exact same procedure while you have the device plugged in. The same process that we just demonstrated here. Okay, so there we go. The device has powered up now straight to the home screen, actually. We can just swipe that away, and then we should be able to see, once we give it a moment there, Okay, there we go. So we have the home screen fully loaded up. We have access to all of the apps, the features, and the settings, and this is just like a brand new device that never had the Google account lock on there. While we have the device here, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the settings real quick just to show you exactly what we're working with. So if we go under the About Tablet section, 
there we go. Up at the top, we can see that we do indeed here have an LG V530. So that's the model number of the G-Pad X2, specifically from T-Mobile here in the US. But there's a good chance that this procedure will work on just about any models of the X2, even if it's not originally from T-Mobile like this one. So, if you have an LG G-Pad X2 and would like help in getting the Google account lock removed from it, we would love to help you out with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and we'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all the contact info there as well. Make sure to check out all of the other videos that we have on our channel, as well for a lot of different services, for a lot of different devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy. Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.